Dean, a big win on the road today. Your thoughts? Great to bounce back after the other night. Um, and we did that last week on Saturday against York as well. And I thought we were uh, dominant and we deserved that victory. A great goal from Gatlin today. And again, Zach Brunt involved in the goal moment. Great moment for both of those two today. Yeah, they turned the ball over. We pressed them up the pitch. And I think the, the goalie sort of shanked it a little bit from what I can remember. I think Hartigan played it to... To, in turnover, played at the Brunty who slid in Gats and uh, great finish. He took it really well, then he? took it early, didn't, the goalie doesn't get time to set, so lovely finish from him and uh, a great start to the day for us. I'll talk about the other goal scorer, Anthony Hartigan, an excellent free kick. Is that something that he practised in training from those angles? Yeah, I think that's three free kicks he's got for us now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Hart is a special player. Um, I think he's been an absolute colossus for us this season. Um, where he reads the game, the bravery he shows to get in possession, and he's got that quality. It's a fantastic goal. Um, so yeah, he fully deserves uh, the, the plaudits that he's getting. No, it's just great, great to bounce back after choose, and especially coming to a place like Hartlepool on the road is a difficult place to come, and it's great, a great performance from the team. I think the result, the performance is excellent. I think the result is the most important thing at this stage of the season. Now we've got ten league games left, so that was our eleven to go. So um, all in all, look, listen, the weight injuries have been for us. For us to continue to pick up points with the injuries we have has been has been brilliant. It was great to get Nicky back on the pitch, great to get George back on the pitch. Um, Wintz come back. I thought Wintz was absolutely outstanding. And he's been out in the cold of late, um, and he's had a few injuries. But I thought he's a credit to his family wins today. I thought he was absolutely he was brilliant. He showed a real leader's performance and um you know, more of that from wins really. So we know he's reliable, you know he knows the level really well. But for his situation to be the way it was with us, um, and to come in like that, he's uh, he's he's represented his family uh, family name really well. You also named him captain today. Does that also just contribute to the character of Ben Winter? Yeah, look, from, from my point of view, Garman the, is the, uh, the club captain and, uh, and Wintz, I do that at the start of the season. Wintz is um, vice captain and then Pritchard backs that up. So, you know, we know Wintz is a good lad. Um, he's a good character, a great pro. And uh, I thought he was just brilliant today. To be out in the college he had been and, and come in and do that is uh, full credit to him. You mentioned about some of the other players that come back. Nicky Cabamba, he signed a long-term deal during the week. You must be really pleased that he's put the pen to paper. This is great for the club. Fantastic for Nicky. Um, you know, he knows where his football's going to be now for the next three and a half years. Um, and I thought he'd come on. He showed good fitness levels actually after being out for the last, whatever it's been, four or five weeks. Um, so, yeah, look, delighted he signed for the club and it's great news for everybody. A lot of positivity around their football club at the minute, so we've got to keep that going. But that only comes through hard work, sticking together, uh, believing in each other, which uh, we've got great characters in that change room, and Nicky's one of them big ones. It's a quick turnaround again in this league, as you always say, it's a relentless division. Rochdale on Tuesday is just go again. Look, we'll see how the lads are today. Pritch has come off for a back injury, so the volume of games have been massive for us. Um, and uh, we'll just see how he is. Uh, Reese was back, obviously had the flu last weekend, so he's played 60 minutes and they flip flop with Cropsey. Um, and who else come off? Gats come off, you just got to get Gats fit, like really fit, really sharp. So when the defenders are getting tired, he's getting stronger. So um, all in all, look, listen, a few bodies are starting to get back. We, 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 Gorman's going to train Monday, so it'll be great to have him back. He's a real leader for us. So all in all, look, we just got to get everybody back as quick as we can. And we're hoping Danny Collins will be back soon. And, you know, there's a few of them really close uh, to coming back. So the quicker we can get them back and match fit and sharp, the better for the team. And finally, Hartlepool's one of our longest away days. Supporters, a good amount of them come up and supported us today. Your message to them? Yeah, brilliant. Like I say, they, they've been in with us from since I've come here. The togetherness we've shown, the, the, the plaudits we got at the end. And we're a little bit disappointed the way we conceded the goal at the end. We didn't deserve that. I thought we deserved deserve to win but definitely two clear goals um, but we want to thank them for the support and we know how difficult it is to come up here um, you know, and it's their football club and uh, they'll go home and enjoy their weekend and we've got to get the hive bouncing again on, on Tuesday night against Rochdale and, uh, and there's no doubt they'll do that for us Dean, congratulations and thank you for your time Cheers, lads, thanks.